against the Indiana. Other way. Reach, we do it the other way. Here come the Salukis onto the floor in Carbondale, just over five minutes away from the start of Southern Illinois. Great. You guys should know that the host always has the trump card. <laughs> I can change the rules when I get ready. And it seems like the You're Southern just Illinois happy that Alabama changes went today. the rules inside yeah. this building every time they play a Missouri Valley Conference opponent. They have Creighton coming in here. Very good shooting team. What are the keys tonight? Well, I think for Southern Illinois, they really have to get easy baskets. When you look at Creighton, I mean, this is a team that presses all the time. So they need to get the ball into the middle, get some really easy transition points in the half-court offense, really get the ball down to Randall Parker and be able to knock those perimeter jump shots. I agree with you. I think they've got to play really physical today. When you say Faulkner, he was the only guy when they lost 70 to 45 to Southern Cal. He's the only guy that had double figures. But their confidence has got to come back there at home. Their physical team, guard the threes at Creighton, take care of business, you get it done. So from that standpoint, it's the inside attack, guarding the threes, making your own confidence become a plus. Guys, you know what the key to the game is any time that Southern Illinois plays, and it's defense, defense, defense. And if the Salukis, who are a little bit older can, and a little bit more physical, can control the perimeter shooting of the Blue Jays, they ought to be in good shape tonight. It is time now to tell you who the Pontiac game changers will be for this game tonight. Which guy is going to change the game positive? I'm going to get it right. <laughs> for me, it's P. Allen still in for Creighton. I mean, he's a freshman, uh, averages 12 points a game. He can shoot for three-point range and get into the lane. He can penetrate. He has really struggled over the last two games. If he can get it going, it's really going to help out Creighton get this road win here in Saluki land. Randall Falker, he's got to set the pace early. He's got to come out of the box, attack inside. He's better than any other inside player that Creighton may throw at him tonight. Get it done offensively. Make the points. Make the rebounds. And this is how they take off and get the job done. This is the win that puts them back in a positive, getting ready for the conference tournament. You guys got on me for going with the big score of oh, game oh, judge this morning. Watch what out, about Tyrone Green <laughs> coming three off the 16. bench to be a defensive stopper uh -oh. to change the game of your guy, P. Yeah. Allen Stennett. Chris Lowry telling me that Green is the guy who can't uh -oh. change the game for them defensively and that he'll match up with uh -oh. the only <laughs> thing Green. The only thing you got is the, the um, stuff in your wallet. Uh, know what you're saying right now. Okay, Southern Illinois and Creighton coming up in just a little while. The Salukis are one game under 500, a very unfamiliar place for a program that has been to six straight NCAA tournaments. They know they have to win the Missouri Valley Conference Tournament in order to get into the NCAA Tournament this year, but rather than waiting to flip the switch, a great way to change the feeling about this season, beat your most despised rival. Creighton coming in here tonight. Guys, as you look at this game, time now for the Pontiac primetime selection. Which way are you going? Home team Southern Illinois or the visitors? Oh, I, I'm going home team with Southern Illinois. They're a great defensive team. I think they're going to stop the three-point shooting with Creighton. And this is a team that wins at home. They've only lost one game at home, and that's Butler by half-court shot by A.J. Gray. This is prime time, and I want the nation to know and understand this is the Missouri Valley, and this is why the Valley always shows up in March Madness to get it done. I'm going with the Salukis. They're at home. They're playing their rival Creighton. It's going to get done tonight, Reese. you got to love the Salukis. You know, they have lost a handful of games in the waning seconds. Couple on near buzzer beaters. One against Butler on the buzzer beaters. Graves at the end. And tonight,